Hey, hey guys, Vladimir here. We got some Diablo 5 news today. Uh, well, possibly. Anyhow, uh, we'll get into that. Seth, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification button so you never miss a video. All right, so between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, there was a 12 year wait. And between Diablo 3 and Diablo 4, there was an 11 year wait. So, quite a long time between um, the next sequel in each game. Um, expansions i think the fastest blizzard's ever done is uh, in like two years for any of the game um so it's always been quite a long way well according to mike ibera we'll get into that in a second but ryan mccaffrey here is the executive editor at ign made this post on twitter uh said stating he finally rolled the credits on diablo 4 campaign last night and Glad he eventually stopped trying to do every side quest and finally main mainline the campaign. Blah 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 blah. Okay, great, good job. You made it to level fifty one. Awesome. Um, but Blizzard president Mike be uh, Mike Ibarra responded, "We're glad you liked it. And going forward, you won't have to wait so long between titles. And we have a lot more coming to Diablo four and beyond. So contextually, and beyond definitely means that there's." plans for future games in the Diablo franchise. Um, so they're talking about uh, possible expansions with Diablo 4, obviously. They're in the works. And then they're talking about it and beyond. So that means Diablo 5. At least that's what everybody can assume. Now, here, here's part of the issue with this, okay? So this is there's a lot of talk about this right now all over the place. And part of the reason is because of the fact that there's so many gamers that are upset about the current state of Diablo 4 that to have him come out and talk about Diablo 5 coming or other content versus fixing the game that's currently here is really a slap in the face to players. This is really just them saying, <laughs> fuck you, we don't give a shit. Um, but we're going to make more content for you to buy. So it's really hard to say where this is going to go um, and what's going to come of this. However, it, great, it'd be nice to fucking not have to wait so long between content, but I'd rather wait a long time if that content's going to be quality versus rush garbage that we just got with Diablo 4. Because I'll tell you right now, yeah, it may have taken that long in between the, the, the different games between uh, Diablo 3 and Diablo 4, but I'll tell you right now, we did not get a quality game on Diablo 4. And I'm sorry, but it doesn't take a genius to figure this out. Everybody who says it's a great game, for example, Ryan McAvery here, he's made it just through the campaign. He has done nothing past it. So he doesn't know what the game is. The fact is, anybody who actually goes past that then starts to see where the real problems of the game are. And when you level to 100, when this guy levels to 100, I want to hear his review then and see what he has to say about the game then. But the fact that Mike Gabara is coming out and stating this stuff without s stating that, hey, you know, we should be fixing this shit first before we're going to talk about other games, again, is rather insulting to the current gaming base. So, that's Vladimir here. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, until next time, guys, keep gaming.